in case you don't know, my name is Ellie. I just climbed every mountain in Ireland. That's 275 peaks in a little over 50 days, which is a new record. And this is the rain jacket I wore for the whole project. So this is the Patagonia Storm 10 rain jacket. And I bought this for a couple of key reasons. Number one is look at how small this jacket packs down. I didn't buy it specifically for the project. I actually bought it at the end of last year because I needed a new waterproof running jacket. And this is only about a little over 200 grams. As you can see, nice and small with still a really good waterproof rating. So there are lots of different things I can get into. It has a 20,000 hydrostatic head. It uses the Patagonia H2 No. So while it's not Gore-Tex, it does have a really good waterproof rating. It has three layers um, to this fabric that is incredibly thin, like incredibly light feeling, uh, which was just a big factor for me. So it was the front zip pocket there that it packs down into. In general, it has that pocket. It has two side pockets, which go up real high. Internally, it has no lining. It's just a really light jacket. The hood has, well, you're not going to be able to see it over my, he my hat, but it has structure to it, which is also something I wanted. Oh, something else I kind of had wished for, but you can't have everything, is to be able to like pinch up this bit. There was many times where I was hiking where I would almost like tuck it up into my hat like this. Just to like be fully, just to be fully out of the elements, but it didn't quite work. Um, but yeah went through many a storm like this. <laughs> it has taped seams on the inside, which I think has become standard now in a good waterproof jacket, but it's definitely something you should look for because it means that the water isn't going to be able to easily seep through the stitching. So it's super, super lightweight. It's got a good level of waterproofing and it's breathable. Now, breathable is subjective in my experience. What each person feels like in a jacket can vary. Breathability is about the material's ability to take water that's kind of rising from your own sweat and body heat inside the jacket and expelling it outwards without letting water inwards. So they have this kind of funnel system in different kinds of waterproofing. When you're wearing a jacket, if you're moving fast, you're always gonna feel a bit of body heat, but that heat is necessary to actually push your sweat out. So it is breathable, as any waterproof jacket can be breathable. Nothing is gonna be like airy and light. Something I do wish it had that it doesn't is pit zips, but to keep it as light and as small and as packable as it was, you can't have all the bells and whistles. Was I dry 100% of the time? No. Um, this jacket did suffer a bit from wetting out, which is where after just being soaked for so long, moisture would get through. However, Ireland this summer, like it was the wettest July we have ever had, the wettest July on record. And that's not just like, oh, it was like 110%. Some areas of Ireland were almost 400%, like almost four times more rain than usual. It was horrendous. So I don't think I could have worn any jacket and been 100% dry. When the rain comes at you sideways and you lift up your arm to do something, some is gonna slide down when you're adjusting your hood, someone's going to get in. It was the, just that kind of summer. There wasn't a hope in me staying dry the whole time. But when I take it off, there would be elements of my core still dry. And on the less absolutely dismal days, it did amazing. So just because I can't say, oh yes, it kept me 100% dry, doesn't mean I don't think it did a phenomenal job. <laughs> So if you're looking for something super duper light that is good at what it does and can pack down into its own front pocket, then yes, I wholeheartedly recommend this jacket. Will it be the only jacket I use going forwards? No. I have more heavy duty jackets that for some winter hikes I will probably use. For some hikes now I'll probably use. It just depends on the situation, what space I have, if I'm concerned about weight, but Will I be using this jacket into the future? Yes, definitely. I had a teeny moment where I thought about framing it just for how much it went through <laughs> this summer. 
doing all those peaks. Um, but also, it's still in such good condition. I have a teeny cut on the sleeve um, when I was doing some scrambling, which I'll probably patch uh, this week. But otherwise, it's still perfect. So, love the jacket. And yeah, I'll see you in our next video. And finally, a huge thank you to everyone who supports on Patreon. Um, without your support, these projects would not be possible. I would not have been able to climb every mountain in Ireland this summer. So thank you so, so, so much, guys. Um, yeah, it means the world. And as I already said, I'll see you in our next video. So this, so this, and I bought the day. So if you're looking for something super duper light, I'll let my tummy stop rumbling. I'm gonna start with everything on, I think. I think this is quite cool. Although the climb is quite steep, so. Oh yeah, I'll just be a bit warm. Yeah.